Hey, how's it going guys? Mr. Mug for the win here, and in today's Grand Theft Auto 5 video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make the perfect clickbait videos. Now, what you're going to need to do first is you're going to need to make sure to get the video over 10 minutes. Otherwise, you're not going to be able to put in those mid-roll ads, which really do help with the revenue of your video, and really just overall contribute to the revenue of your video. So if you want to increase the revenue of your video, that revenue of your video that you're going to get, um... One of the things you may notice that I've been doing is repeating the same thing over and over again. Also, really over enunciating my words so that the video can be extended to 10 minutes. So that again, I will be able to put in those mid-roll ads, which gets me the extra ad revenue, which I really need because my channel is dying. Uh, you know, I'm approaching 2 million subscribers, yet I only get about 100,000 views per video. So I'm in dire need of those mid-roll ads. So my boy, Mr. Boss for the win, has recently been accused of doxing. And um, I'm not surprised. It really shouldn't come as a surprise because the GTA 5 subreddit hated the shit out of Mr. Boss and would do pretty much anything they could to get him taken off YouTube. Now, obviously this didn't get him taken off YouTube and it's not really reducing his view count, but it did damage his credibility. The boy himself, Mr. Boss, did respond to this, basically saying that he wasn't trying to dox anyone and he would never dox a real fan. He was just trying to scare people away from continuously threatening and harassing his channel, which I don't think that's the right way to go about it at all. But if they are continuously trying to fuck your channel over, nothing he's doing is illegal. It's just kind of fucked up. But that shouldn't surprise you because Ross is just kind of a fucked up guy in general. He does these daily live streams where he gets pissed at his fans every single time because they're constantly running him over and accidentally getting him killed. Uh, that's the reason I like to watch him because he rages, you know, like the second half of his streams usually consist of him getting really pissed off at his fans. I know I'm diverting from the main topic here, but I remember his New Year's stream for 2017. He uh, did this like fireworks show at the end with him and all his fans standing on his yacht firing fireworks into the air and the entire time they were firing instead of being happy that it was the new year or saying like happy new year you know to end off his stream the entire end of the stream literally was just him complaining about how his fans couldn't shoot fireworks properly how do you kill someone with a firework launcher it honestly amazes me you do not know how to point and aim it straight up in the air some people blow my mind um I don't get it. I don't get it. Dictator, why do you got to be like that? Can no one shoot a firework in the air? I really don't get it. It's not that difficult. How are we killed again? Seriously, that is unbelievable. I don't get it, man. Don't get it how we can kill people. It really blows my mind. But goodbye, everyone. To be fair though, his fans are kind of retarded a lot of the time in his streams, so I'm not necessarily going to blame him for yelling at them, but he complains every single stream. The, like, half the stream is just him complaining about how incompetent his crew members are. It's like, change up the format of your stream a little bit if you don't want to keep getting destroyed and run over all the time. Like... Why even do these streams if you're just going to complain the whole time? Change it up so that your fans aren't in the position to constantly be running over you. So anyway, some people were calling these DM conversations into question at first, thinking, you know, these these are probably fake, honestly, pro probably fake. But uh, Mr. Boss never said they weren't fake. In fact, he heavily implied that they were real so yeah i'm just gonna go with the fact that I'm just, I'm just going to assume that they were real and also because who else would use the words holy smokes and is he cooked uh right next to each other in the same conversation like only mr boss uses phrases like holy smokes and is he cooked like who would even say that like mr boss is from like the 1920s i think uh, he's, he's like reborn from the 1920s and he's come back to haunt us with clickbait GTA five videos. Now that this new information has come to light, we can now see that Mr. Boss for the win isn't a clean cut YouTuber. Like he 
wants to portray himself as who could have who could have predicted this who could who could have ever predicted this um don't mean to suck my own dick here but that video i made six months ago before anyone else was talking about mr boss has recently gotten a decent amount of views and the reason for that is because this bigger YouTuber has started making videos on Mr. Boss, all right, and mine are in the suggested tab. So thank you everyone who is watching that video. Um, really appreciate it. My main point is, uh, thank you seriously for watching. I know this video was edited badly, but um, again, I plan to change that. I just had to throw this together pretty quickly because these doxing allegations. Uh, happened pretty recently and I wanted to milk the Mr. Boss train because um you know I've been making fun of Mr. Boss longer than anyone else has I know the man I see through his eyes I know him thank you for watching